I'm a teacher here in Candler County, but I'm also a parent of four children who attend school here. My children have had an amazing experience here in Candler County. Um, Candler offers a wide range of opportunities and experiences for the students. And not just outside of the classroom, but um, hands-on experiences, different innovative teaching strategies and technology. Candler County offers a diverse set of opportunities for the students, whether it's athletics, the arts, academics. The teachers in Candler County are here for one thing, and that's to make sure that they're meeting the needs of the students wherever they are every single day when they walk into the classroom. Candler County will offer teachers professional growth opportunities and will also offer teams of supportive coworkers and administrators who are always looking out for the best interest of all students. I was interested in making Pam Mather a part of our school's teaching team. First of all, because she came highly recommended. I needed a sixth grade English teacher. And when I called to check her references, um, she got rave reviews. The students benefit from her particular style of teaching is because she is the type who is passionate about the content in which she's teaching at that time. Not only passionate about the content, but she also would be one who would get into character and become a part of that content. She has so much, so much experience and she's brought, she brings so much to the table that she, she has fit in well with the other teachers. So she is a very good peer leader because she, she has great ideas, she's, she's outspoken. Even though she has a quiet voice, she's very outspoken. And she, she is a role model for a lot of other teachers, especially the younger teachers. Pam Mather is a great teacher it's because she is passionate about her craft. She is passionate about teaching, she is passionate about children. And combine her love of teaching and her love of children makes her a great teacher. And I am, I feel that Metter Middle School is blessed and very fortunate to have her to become an addition to the team. From the time I was a little girl, I knew I wanted to teach. I wanted to become a teacher when I was very little. Um, I would line up my stuffed animals and teach them on a chalkboard in my room and teach them math and reading. Then throughout school I had amazing teachers that kind of spurred my interest. Uh, one teacher in particular, my Spanish teacher, her name was uh, Mrs. Mike. Mrs. Mike was, she was the best teacher, the most fun teacher I'd ever had. And she taught me that learning can be fun. Uh, we would do plays and you know raps and songs and when I became a teacher I wanted to model my style after her. I lived in New York for 30 years and I earned my bachelor's degree and my master's degree up in New York, um, SUNY Cortland and Elmira College for my master's. Um, right now I'm taking part in the gifted cohort for Candler County, so I'm earning my gifted certification soon. I've been teaching for 15 years. I taught fourth and fifth grade in New York and I taught in Florida. And since I've come to Georgia, I've taught um, pre-K and first grade and fifth and sixth grade. Um, I've had a lot of positive experiences and to begin with a lot of the most remarkable things I see are the daily uh, light bulbs in the classroom. The student who meets a personal goal or who all of a sudden finds the perfect book to read and they can't wait to share it with me. Um, they earn a score on a test that they didn't think they could earn. Those, those, you know, we celebrate the small victories. Those are remarkable. Several years ago, I was teaching first grade and I'd had a day that many teachers have had where I felt defeated. And after the kids left, I was just, I was just really feeling down. Um, and I went to my computer and there was an email from a former student who I hadn't spoken to in probably eight or nine years. Uh, I taught him as a fifth grader in New York and he wrote me an email to let me know that he was in college and he was becoming an educator. Um, he was asked to email a teacher who had, in, who had inspired him to become a teacher and he chose me. And that email, that changed me that day because even though I was 
I was feeling like I wasn't being successful in the classroom. I looked at that email and I thought, you know what, it's always, it's always about those kids. We don't think we're always reaching them, but we are. And we're inspiring them and motivating them. That we influence these kids and inspire them every day, whether we know it or not. And it really meant a lot to me. That was really remarkable for me to see how far reaching our, um, our inspiration is and our motivation for the students. I've also enjoyed the professional opportunities that I have here in Candler County. This year we were able, in sixth grade, we had our first comic book convention. We called it TigerCon. And it allowed, as a teacher, it allowed, it allowed me to be creative and it allowed the, the students to be extremely creative in creating their own comic books with their own stories. And we had this big comic book convention and they shared their works of art with everyone and I loved that. We all dressed up. I loved it because they were able to use their imaginations. This year I've had the privilege of working with the Tiger News team. Um, I'm working with an incredible bunch of students and every day I'm watching them grow in their knowledge of technology, which they're, they're teaching me about technology, I had no idea about. But I'm seeing them grow in confidence. They're in charge of the weekly broadcast and they have to do all of their own research. They bring it to me each week and I've been so proud of how enthusiastic they are about going out, finding fresh stories, interviewing people. Um, all of a sudden, the students who didn't ever want to be on camera are the ones who are asking if they can grab a microphone and a camera and go and interview somebody in the school. And I think it's broadening their horizons. Um, they're more aware of the news that's going on around them. They're more aware of what's happening in the school and outside of the school. What I think is the greatest part of the news team is watching them become reporters and journalists and experienced cameramen and camera women and just watching them take their interests and throw them into the news broadcast. Um, they're just getting better and better every week and I'm so proud of that group of students. I've loved teaching this year at Candler County. It's been a wonderful experience. I've loved um, my team has welcomed me with open arms and they've just made this such a smooth transition for me. I had never taught middle school before and sixth grade has been amazing, better than I had expected because of the team that I work with.